What's up you guys, Shortimus Prime here, doing another Marvel Legends figure review on the Marvel Legends Infinite Series Build-A-Figure Collection Hobgoblin Wave Spider-Man. If you're trying to get this wave, you can lock it down at Big, 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 Big. Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. Get an image of Spider-Man right over there, another image of Spider-Man, and on the back you can see the Build-A-Figure, the other figures of the wave, then there's a read-up that says, a radioactive spider bite made Peter Parker a superhero, but he still gets hungry, so he comes with this pizza you can see his pizza right over there. Anyway, let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here's our brand new Spider-Man figure out of the packaging. And I think Hasbro has done a fantastic job with this piece. I absolutely love this figure. There's already a ton of awesome Spider-Man figures out there. They really made this one unique with a lot of interchangeable pieces that it comes with, such as all these interchangeable hands. We get three pairs of interchangeable hands and a slice of pizza. And I do need to mention that he does come with the left leg to the Hobgoblin Build-A-Figure. But anyway, looking at these hands right here, I do like how the paint came out on all these. I think the black deco for the cobweb design looks pretty nice on these. Here's a look at the thwipping hands. And here's a look at the wall crawling slash pizza holding hands. Got an extra little piece of plastic right there, but not a big deal. Now, in images, I thought these were going to be way out of proportion, but they're actually not that bad. Then here's a slice of pepperoni pizza, which I think is very impressive. I like this piece a lot. You can see that sculpted detail in the cheese and then the pepperoni. And then even at the bottom right there on the crust, they even got that. I like how the goop is coming down there. And I like how you can set this up in his hand. You can see the cheese dripping between the fingers. I think this is really cool. We also get two head sculpts with this figure, which I think is great. I'm really happy about that. And I think this head sculpt came out really nice. I like it. I like the black deco that we have on there. I think it came out pretty clean. Of course, the figure it does not have the sculpted cobwebbing on there because I think they wanted to reuse the body mold, so they had to keep the painted on cobwebbing for the mask too. I think the left eye socket came out very nice nicely over here. The right one is just slightly a miss, but not bad at all. Then there's a half masked face right here looking really cool. Nice white paint, nice flesh tone color. You can see the little wrinkles right there in the mask, which I think is very cool. Again, the deco came out pretty clean for this head sculpt too. So I'm really digging that they gave us this alternate head sculpt. I really like it. You can tell this is blue plastic right here and they painted on red over it, which I think was well done. You do get a tiny bit of paint rubbing, but I think for the most part this holds up nicely. Look on the back over here here you can get tiny little bit of paint rub right there. You can see the blue coming off or a little bit of red speckled and then right here on this side too just a tiny little bit on the armpit joint and on this shoulder section and I've been messing around with this figure a lot since I got it for pretty much five days now so it's not like you're looking at a figure that just came out of the packaging over here. I've been posing it around quite a bit. Now one thing that's irritated me a little bit is that this left arm is warped so I need to use a hair dryer and then run it under cold water shortly afterwards to get that straightened out. The pin is not painted blue on this side. I guess it's not really a big deal for me anymore. Uh, now we do have this elongated torso which I did talk about in my Spider-Man 2099 review. He does have the elongated dick arrows. And the other thing that kind of sticks out to me too is that the paint does get splotchiest the most right here in this lower ab section. As you can see we get a little bit of bleeding of the black paint and not all the red paint came in through nicely over here. That is a bit of a bummer and it did come out of package just like that. And looking at the lower half of the figure over here you can see that the muscle definition still looks good. There's no shadowing effect or anything which I would have preferred. I do think the paint came out pretty good on this lower half of the legs. You know, it looks pretty good, but yeah, shadowing effect would have been awesome. And the figure still has peg holes at the bottom of his feet. Then here's looking at the back of the figure, which those numbers are at the bottom of his feet. It looks pretty good, and I do like we get this peg right here. Now this does not work for the Toy Biz flight stands, which is a little unfortunate, but not so bad. But it does work out perfectly for a Figma stand or an SH Figure Art stand. So I just took the clip off of this SH Figure Art stand, and it holds there perfectly. So I don't know if that's just a coincidence or what, but I really dig that. Now we do get the same exact articulation that we got on the Spider-Man 2099 figure. The head moves up and down, rotates side to side. A tiny little bit of neck pivot in there. We do get the armpit joints. Shoulders move outward. They rotate forward. Bicep swivel, double jointed elbows. Wrists swivel side to side. They hinge up and down. Decent ab crunch over here. It moves forward and back. You get the waist swivel. Hips move out only that much. They kick forward. They kick back. Upper thigh swivel. Double jointed knees. Ankles move down, up, and that beautiful ankle pivot. Now the Spider-Man figure stands at about six and a half 
inches tall. I think this is an original Spider-Man from Hasbro. I'm not 100% sure, so correct me if I'm wrong about that in the comments below. You can see these two figures do share the same legs and hip joint and everything right there. And then we have the Amazing Spider-Man 2 Spider-Man. As I mentioned in my Spider-Man 2099 review, I wish they had actually extended the legs on this guy as opposed to extending the torso. And here's a new Spider-Man figure amongst arguably the best 6-inch Spider-Man figures we have today. We have the Metacon Mafex Amazing Spider-Man 2 figure, the Sinister 6 Toy Biz Marvel Legends Spider-Man, and then the McFarlane Spider-Man from Toy Biz as well. And I hope one day Hasbro considers bringing in nicely sculpted detail like these wrinkles in the suit that just make it look very realistic. And here's Spider-Man compared to the other figures from the wave which I've already reviewed. And here he is next to the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. Spider Person Party, yeah! Hey Daredevil, get back to your own party. Pizza. Here's Spider-Man doing a handstand, which somebody had showed me on Facebook. I forgot who it was, but this works out very nicely. I mean, really easy to balance. He's not being held up by anything else but his hands right there, and that is just really, really cool. Man, what a fantastic figure. I am very, very pleased with this piece. I know that it's going to be packed two per box, so if you see one of these, go ahead and grab one. And I hope you guys liked my video. If you did, please hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button right over there. Don't forget to check out my review of the Spider-Man 2099 figure right over there. And check out my last video right over here. And make sure you check out my photo gallery over at MarvelousNews.com. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. That's crispy. I'm going to have to say right off the bat, outside of this... Damn it.